Hi guys! My last video about the Lucille pepper mill was actually my first project on the lathe. This one. I bought this machine on eBay and it came with lots of tools and some wood and it was around 200 euros so I think it was a really good deal. And I have to tell you it's really refreshing to work with a tool that I don't have any experience with and to build something that is round which opens like a whole new set of ideas. For this week's project I want to work with a lathe again and I want to use the big lathe and I want to use the mini lathe. I think it would be really cool to combine brass with some kind of darker wood, maybe walnut. So let's check out my wood storage and see what we can find. Okay, so here's uh, the wood I have. I don't want to spend too much money on this project because uh, from all the moving I am super broke. But I think we will find something in here. This is um, the cutoff from the walnut lamp I built a couple of months ago. It was my first video actually. I think it, it could be a bit too small. So this is something we could try. And remember, oops. Uh, I don't even know what kind of wood that is. I bought that, I don't remember. Maybe that came with a lathe, I'm not sure, but it definitely looks uh, tro tropical, I would say. Maybe that's teak. If you know what that is, let me know. So next I will drive to my metal supplier and get some brass. All right. That's a company I told you about before in a different vlog. Another thing I really like about them is that they have some kind of scrap bins where they put all the offcuts and stuff that is too small to sell. So if you find something there that you can use, it's really, really cheap. As you know, brass is really expensive. This is solid. This is pretty thick. And that's also a good piece of brass. It was, I think, 12 euros. I, can't, I really can't wait to play around with that. I hope it works out. We will find out on Sunday. In case you were wondering about the background, about that sign, I used to, uh, I used to DJ a lot with a friend from uh, university. We studied together. And we had this DJ team called Tanz die Affen, which means dance your monkeys. So that's an old sign I built for our DJ booth. Unfortunately, I don't have too much time to do that anymore. Still really like it. That's that's why I listen to records basically because I started DJing and started buying vinyl. And I absolutely love it, as you know. Speaking of records. Rilo Kali, Under the Black Light. Um, the album is from 2007. Uh, the genre is described as LA Coke Rock. Great album, it's been compared to Fleetwood Mac a lot. I've been listening to it over and over. It's one of those records that you can listen from start to finish. It is a bit slower than my last recommendations, but it's one of my absolute favorite albums. I would suggest listening to uh, The Moneymaker, Smoke Detector and Breaking Up. Great songs. Um, please check it out. Please let me know what you think. Last week I started playing around with super short movies. I did two of them. The first one was the Lucille baseball bat and the second one is the money clip. I didn't release that video on YouTube. Those super short movies are great fun but they're not really suitable for YouTube because you have to click on the video and then the pop-ups and the commercials and blah 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 so it's a lot of stress for 10 seconds of film. So I think I will release those short movies on Instagram. Instagram loops the videos, which makes a lot of sense for 10 second movies. Um, the money clip movie, I cut the music so it is continuous when it loops. So I think it's very nice to watch it a couple times in a row. If you like to see those short movies, make sure to follow me on Instagram. There's a link on my YouTube page where you can click and you see my profile. And then that's it for me this week. Uh, I hope to see you next week. I hope you enjoy my Sunday video. I hope you like my short videos. Uh, leave me a comment and a like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, see you next week. Bye.